welcome back and welcome to my channel new members yeah today we are learning how to cook grasshopper senene guys those are senene grasshoppers yeah, this is how we prepare them we remove the legs the wings after we wash them and if you have uh, hash you can put hash on it then you start scrubbing rubbing in your arms then these wings can go off this is how we make them guys yeah uganda we eat this this is the season of grasshoppers eh? yeah <laughs> this is how we do it. We remove the wings. We remove the legs first like <laughs> this. Then we remove the wings. Then after we wash them, then they are ready to be prepared. They are so tasty. But when you have ash, it is them. It is the removing of the leaves, the wings. This is their season. But now this is for 1,000, all of this. But once you find the prepared ones, like in Bali, a spoon is at 1,000 shillings, Ugandan. Now, we are washing them. After removing the wings, the legs, we wash them. Wash them like over three times. So you have already found me washing them. Yeah, we are going to fry. I don't know why, but they are so oily. Yeah, you can, but like when you want to reduce this oil, 
if like these people who cook with sigiris, charcoal stoves, you can use uh, some ash as you're removing the wings and you try putting them in ash, then you start wrapping in your hands. After wrapping, some oil will be reduced in the process of wrapping using the ash. By the time you reach frying them, they will be when they have a little oil. And also washing them reduces it. Wash with warm water? No, you wash with cold water. But as you keep on frying them, they reduce also the oil. I think you can see the oil. You know what? In the frying pan. And you keep on frying them. Don't forget to remove the wings and the legs. See, as you keep on frying them, the oil is coming down. Yeah. But when you, if you are to buy them on the street when they are ready, right? A spoon is at 1,000 shillings of Uganda. Yeah. That is like 30 shillings of Kenya. Yeah. 20, 20 shillings. Yeah, they are so expensive. Then in, in other tribes, like the, those of Atelier, you know, they fry them, they put tomatoes, they put dinner sauce, then they eat it as food, like sauce. With what you actually fly it, eh? So this one you try and feel it's golden brown or what? No, it can, it can become golden brown, yellow, yeah. As we are keep on flying, you're going to see. Even it has that kind of smell as you keep on flying. It changes, but when you're making it, there is always some people don't like that aroma which comes out of it. Yeah. Here we go, it's almost ready. But it has its own season, it does not always come like daily, daily. Now this is its season. You can buy a lot of it, like at 1,000 shillings. Like today I bought a lot in the market at 1,000. But once it's not a season, you can't buy it at one thousand. When you get season, it is May. Okay? When is the season? This is May. This is its season. Mm -hmm. So there are very many in the market. Mm -hmm. They sell till when? I think the whole May. This is the Uganda the latest you guys. Yeah. Don't mind our kitchen. We enjoy eating this super 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 nice. Actually they also add something into your body. If you don't know it's like vitamin C. This vitamin C. Yeah. Because the doctors advise you to eat them. Then the propaganda the farm don't eat the baby. It's like a plant. The kafaya should be of moderate, not a lot. Once it is a lot, it burns. And once it burns, it does not get ready very well. You keep on trying. See, the oil is. African meal. You can even have it with tea, breakfast. Once you fry them, they can even stay for like a week without getting spoiled. Mm. You can use this as sandwich or still you can put it in the middle of the bread and you eat it like sandwich. Yeah. Mm. Oh, let's test it. We're 
video with some little salt, not a lot. Cut them in small, small to give it some nice aroma, some nice taste. Yeah, this is how we eat in Uganda. In this season, actually, our meal they are grasshoppers. You can even try and put there tomatoes, onions, garlic, black pepper. You add. You just put little as you just want to take them with you. Ready, 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 ready. You see? They have to be golden. You see? This is how they look when they are ready. Yeah. Ready to eat. By the way, these are good to keep in the house like as you do. Yeah. Ready to be served. Baby, come and test one, Missy. see. Mm. Come. Come on, this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one. Actually, they are ready. But if she tests, I will challenge myself with a, with a small baby test. Mm. You eat it. Mm. Test more? Mm. Mm. You well, know. there is the moment of food, guys. I have to test the same. Mm. Let me try. Oh my god. Mm. 
How do you taste? You have a lot of fat. Oh, they are not bad. They actually taste like omena. <laughs> it tastes like omena, but okay for the first timers i know it will be scary like it is scary right now i don't think i can take the second piece maybe the, the second time when smile is doing the cooking i will try see how to find them so delicious uganda the baby is asking mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, so, so delicious. Yeah. You should come to Uganda and we eat in Senene grasshoppers. This is the season. Yeah, yeah Uganda. Follow me on Insta, on Instagram, YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Real Saint Smiles. I will show you how we cap them. Yeah, in this season, I will take you away. The way we get them from the forest, how we get them, and how we prepare them. Follow me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Instagram. Yeah. The baby is asking for mm. saying. Mm. Mm. The baby is asking for saying. Me nyako buna buna She wants another one and the other kind. Yeah, baby, eat. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's your canine. Eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they come to Uganda, the most first thing they do is buying some musenene. And when you come to Uganda for the first time, they will sell them to you like oh, at 20,000 shillings. Just to make a bowel to have a taste of them. Like when you move around and you get used, you will find a spoon at it, 1,000 shillings in Uganda. Then I don't know whether they are somewhere else, but mostly they are arrested in Masaka district in Uganda. They are not, they are not arrested in every place. It's only in Masaka, in Buganda actually. That's why you can find a cinema. And it's a meal, enjoy it. But now if you want to move around in uh, Buganda families, this is the meal they enjoy in the evening before having supper. Before like having a real big meal, like for example, matoke rice, they first enjoy this in the compound. Yeah, this is what they are having. So today when I went to the markets to buy some, to purchase some, I found many families buying them. For example, there is a man who bought like for 10,000, bought four buberas, black pills, bought four of them and carried them, we were so happy that it is the season. After it began today, yeah, so we are eating them, enjoying. Come to Uganda, eat African foods, enjoy with us in Senene season. Don't be late, come early.